Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I'm always trying to find new tools to help you guys do repairs and diagnostic on your vehicles. That way you can save money and do the repairs yourself. So today we're going to be looking at a very useful and easy to use diagnostic tool. This device that I have here is a smoke machine. This is the Ansel S3000 automotive smoke machine and leak detector. For the folks living on the Midwest or the East Coast, where the salt tends to eat up your cars, EVAP leaks and trouble codes are a common problem for you. Even for us on the West Coast, we still have to deal with broken hoses and fittings that fail and can throw a trouble code. Finding where the leak is can be rather troublesome and difficult when doing it visually. That is where this little guy can save you a lot of time and trouble because it will pressurize the system that you're testing, put smoke through it, and that way you can exactly know where to do your repair. One very cool thing about this machine is that it's not only a smoke machine, it also has a built-in air pump so it can pressurize the system that you're testing to make finding the leak that much easier. So let's take a look at this guy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this guy up and see how it performs. Alright guys, so when you open this guy up, this is everything you get. Now this is the S3000 smoke machine and leak detector from Ansel, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $239.99. But they also have a $30 discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if I happen to come across any additional discount coupons, I'll be sure to put it in the description down below. So check that out first before you do anything, you might get it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the smoke machine itself. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, how to set it up, how to use it, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through it. You get a funnel to basically attach it to just about all sorts of different shapes, sizes, and different attachments anywhere in your vehicle. So that way you can use it to put smoke anywhere you want and seal it off nice and conveniently. You get a hook for hanging this guy up under the hood so it's not in your way somewhere. It's hanging where it's convenient and out of your way. You get a smoke delivery hose right there, but actually for putting out the smoke into whatever attachment you're going to be using. You have a nice little funnel for putting the oil in the unit, very convenient. You have the power cord right there and it hooks up to your 12 volt battery. And you have an inflatable bladder. Again, if the cone doesn't work, you can use this bladder and attach it to any location in your vehicle, inflate it up, but you can pump it up real good. That way it seals up very nicely and you can separate any area you want to be able to use the smoke machine on there. And it comes with an additional sleeve for the bladder already included. That way down the road, if you break this guy, you have an additional replacement sleeve right there. Very cool that they included that. You don't need to buy that separately. Now this unit comes with a 12 month warranty. And the dimensions on this guy are fairly compact. You're only looking at seven and a half inches by five inches by three and a half inches. So very small compared to some other units out there. And it's also very lightweight. It only weighs two and a half pounds, which again, very lightweight, easy to maneuver, get it around just anywhere you need it. Now, as far as indicators and gauges, this guy has three different things. You have an oil level indicator on the side here, which I'll show you in a moment as we take a closer look at it. You have a pressure gauge on the front and a flow level indicator right here on this side. You have separate controls here on the front for the air pressure and the smoke production. The air pressure obviously goes with this gauge, the smoke production goes with that one right there. And it is very convenient, you don't have to use both at the same time. You can use one or the other or use them both. So you have separate controls giving you a lot more flexibility as to what it is you want to test and how you want to test it. The unit produces smoke in as little as 30 seconds and there's nothing special that you need to use to have it create the smoke for you. Any mineral oil or baby oil, inexpensive stuff like that you can find anywhere, that's what you use to produce the smoke. It also has a built-in air pump for controlling air pressure so there's no need for an external compressor. It does it all internally all by itself. Now the smoke production can also be controlled to where you have either a large or small amount of smoke. You can control it yourself adjusting the flow and adjusting the production and that way you control exactly how much smoke you're putting out because you don't always need to flood it with a huge amount of smoke. Some machines don't have control for that. This gives you a lot greater control with this guy here so you don't have a huge amount of smoke going everywhere which may make it harder for you to find where the leak actually is. 
Now, the smoke that this produces is non-corrosive and non-damaging, so it's not bad for either the vehicle or unit that you're testing or for yourself. You can breathe it in. It's just baby oil. It's not going to harm anything at all. The pressure on this unit right here on the front, you can read it in either PSI or kilograms per centimeter squared. So whatever you're convenient with, you can check either one of those settings. It also has a built-in overheating protection to protect the unit and the user from harm. If it starts heating up a little too much, it'll turn itself off so that way it doesn't cause damage to itself or to you. So this guy can be very convenient. You can use it for testing and finding leaks in the EVAP system, throttle body, diaphragms and seats, EGR valve, hoses, brake booster, oil leaks. Have you ever had an oil leak? You don't know where it's coming from? You can pressurize the oil system with this guy and find out where the leak is. Your headlight or taillight assembly. How many times have you had a vehicle that has water intrusion into your taillight or headlights? With this guy, you can find exactly where it is. And many, many more uses. I'm sure once you have this guy, you can get really creative and use it for a lot of different things. And this guy can be used on cars, trucks, motorcycles, snowmobiles, tractors, boats, riding mowers, any system that runs on a 12 volt system. Because as you see right there, it will hook up to your 12 volt battery. So any 12 volt system, you can use this guy right here. So let's take a little closer look at the unit and then we'll do some testing. All right, guys, so let's take a little closer look at the unit itself and see some of the features that it has. Like I mentioned previously, you have a sight glass there on the side for the amount of oil that you have. And it's empty right now, but when you fill it up, you'll be able to see the oil in there. And it doesn't hold a lot, but it should be enough to do whatever job you need to do. It also has a convenient hook at the top there that you see it screws into the unit right there. And that way you can hang it from the hood of your vehicle, whatever you're working on. That way it's out of your way, but easily accessible. And when you're hanging it up there, a lot of trouble can be found, a lot of problems you can solve just by looking at the gauges that you have right here. And the gauges tell you a lot. Like I said, this is the pressure gauge right here. This is the flow gauge right here. And that'll tell you a lot as to what's going on, as to the size of the leak that you have. Because what you do is you use these buttons here to pressurize it with this. And this is the amount of smoke that you're producing right here. And they're on off buttons. You click them on and off to get them to do their job. And the LEDs right here also tell you what is going on. This one, for example, the LED, when you turn on the unit, it'll turn to red, telling you that the power is on. You, when you press this button down and you start pressurizing the unit, it'll tell you, it'll change to green, telling you that you're pressurizing the unit, telling you that it's actually working. When you turn it off, it goes back to red, just indicating power is on. That's all it does. This one's a little different. This one produces the smoke over here, and normally it is off. When you press the button on, it'll turn to green, indicating that it is producing smoke. When you press it again, it'll go off. Now, if that one turns red as you're using it, it'll indicate that it's overheating. And that tells you right there that it will shut off until it cools off and then it will come back on. So red means a little different for each one of these two right here. But as far as how to use this guy, real simple rundown as to how to use these two right here when you're looking at a leak in your vehicle. If you pressurize this guy up, let's say you pressurize it up to halfway and it stays there, then that basically tells you you don't have a leak. You have a good system. Now, if it starts dropping a little bit and going back up because it's trying to pressurize itself, that tells you you have a small leak. If it starts dropping a lot and going back up, dropping a lot and going back up and wildly going around, that tells you right there you have a huge leak because it's going to continue to try to pressurize it as you're running it. Now, this guy over here, the smoke, the airflow that you have going, this guy will go up and down indicating what's going on. If it's at the bottom, that tells you there's no flow. That tells you that you don't have a leak. There's no flow of air going on whatsoever. If it goes up a little bit, that tells you that you have a little small leak somewhere and you can track it down. Now, if it keeps going, it goes way up. That means you have a massive leak somewhere and that'll tell you exactly what kind of a problem you're looking at. And then the amount of smoke will be coming out somewhere and you can trace it down from there. So that gives you a real quick rundown of how to use the unit. Now over here on the other side, now this side over here is where you hook up the air delivery hose and that way you deliver the smoke coming out of it and attach it to whatever it is that you're going to be using it for. Over here is where you have the power connector and you plug that in there and that's how you power up the unit. That's pretty much everything that the unit has on there. Now let's look at some of the attachments that come with it. Now this is a very convenient bladder that comes with it and you can use this for the throttle body or any other place that basically is a uh, round shape and so forth. And make sure whatever you put it on, you clean it first so there's no sharp edges, dirt, debris or any of that that can puncture this guy. And what you do, this is kind of like a blood pressure guy. What you do is you uh, just pump it up and as you see it swells up 
to basically close up whatever area you put it on. And to release the pressure, all you do is this guy right here, you press the button, and you can see right there, it just lets go of the air. And this over here is where you hook up the air delivery hose. This guy right here, you push it into here. And that's how you get the smoke to go in there. This is for pressuring it up, and this is where the smoke goes in, and it comes out through here in the middle. This will obviously seal off the area. So that's how that guy works. Now the other one, this one, the cone, is really quite useful for bigger things, bigger orifices, or even your exhaust system. And it closes off the area, and here is where you hook up the hose for this guy. You hook it up in there, and that's how you introduce the smoke into the given area. So that's all the different attachments that come with it. Let's go see and testing and see how it performs doing some actual testing with it. All right, guys. So let's start doing a little bit of testing. I have the unit set up right here under the hood of my car, hanging from the convenient hook that comes with it. And basically, I have it set up. As you can see, the red LED telling you right there that it's powered on. And all we have to do is start using it. And you see the power cord going from the side there, going all the way back there, all the way to the battery back there. And that's how you hook it up. If you're curious, I measured the power cable, and it's about eight and a half feet long. So that gives you plenty of cable to hook it up in just about any battery configuration, anything that's under the hood, that is. If you have a battery like under the back seat of the car or something like that, or in the trunk or something, you may need to figure out something else. I don't have one of those, so I don't, I don't know exactly how to deal with that, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Anyway, so we have the unit all set up here. And I put in some baby oil. You can see through the glass, sight glass right there, a little bit of baby oil inside there. And to pour in the baby oil, all you do is this little cap right here, you unscrew that, put the little funnel in there, pour in some baby oil, and you're good to go. And we have a little bit in there. We're good to go right now. So you see everything right here on the front. And like I said, this one right here is for the air pump. This one is for the smoke right there. And if you put on the air pump, I'm just going to show you real quick. It's not very noisy at all. It's actually rather quiet. So I'm gonna actually show you how to do that. And I don't have any kind of leaks or anything in this car at this time, but I'm gonna create a situation. I'm gonna make a fake leak right now so that way you guys can see what it looks like. And I opened up the intake right there and I put the bladder in there. You see that I inflated it to seal it off and we're gonna have some smoke going on in there. And that basically covers all that stuff in there, all that piping there, it goes all the way back to the EGR back there, all that kind of good stuff, EGRs back there, through that plastic hose. And what I'm gonna do is, after I fill it up and compress it, then I'm gonna undo that hose right there, and we should have a leak coming out of there, and that'll give you an idea what that looks like. So I set up the bladder right there, but you can actually use the cone if you wanted to, because that's actually a good size right there, that would fit very nicely in there if you wanted to. So either one of those are made for very large openings like this guy right there. So that's very convenient. So let's see, the uh, smoke hose, let me see, I have this guy right here. The smoke hose, this is where the smoke's gonna be coming out of. You have to hook it up to that guy right there. And I'm gonna do that in a minute after we get some smoke coming out of this guy. So that'll take about 30 seconds. Let me get this guy going and then we'll have some smoke coming out of there. So let's get this guy on. As you see right there, it's off. Once you turn it on, it should start making some smoke coming out of there in just a moment. It's working right now. And let's see how long it takes it to actually start producing some smoke. So it shouldn't be too, too long. It says only about, oh, it's already going. It is already going. You can see right there, that, that took less than 30 seconds. That was really fast. Look at that. Boy, this guy creates a lot of smoke. That is a lot right there. Obviously, I can probably turn it down. There's probably a lot coming out of there. Well, that's the wrong way. There we go. You can turn it down to have less. And you can see right there, it's showing you a lot of flow going out. So let's hook it up into here. And let's get the smoke going inside here. Hard to do one-handed. So let's see. I got that hooked up in there. And that should be going on inside there. Let the smoke clear out of here. And that is pressurizing it inside there. And let's turn on the pump. And we see it's pressurizing it. Not a lot of stuff going on right now because it takes a little time to fill all that up. And I don't know exactly how much of a cavity that's going to be, so I don't know exactly how much it's going to take to fill it up. But as you can see, there's no leaking 
out here under the hood. The EGR is back there. That pipe goes all the way back there. It may go into the intake and all that. I don't know exactly how much it's going to fill up. But there's no leaking out of here. And there's no leaking out of there. I mean, a tiny little bit. I got a tiny. Probably better to put it in a little tighter. Two hands would be easier to do that. But there you go. No leaking there. No leaking back there. No leaking there. So that guy is doing his thing right there. It's taking its own time pressurizing it. But I'm not going to keep you guys waiting forever. So let's see if we were to make a leak right here. Let me undo this hose right there. Whoa. There you go. That was a lot coming out of there. So you can see it pressurized it pretty darn well. So if we had a leak somewhere, you would have a leak coming out of here. You would have smoke coming out of there like that. If that was a leaky hose, that is a quick and easy way to spot it right there. You would be able to see that's where your leak is right there. And that's how you use a smoke machine. That's how you find your leaks. You saw it was tight a moment ago. But if you had a leak, that's how you would find it. No place else is it leaking. We have no smoke coming out anywhere else. Just what we have right there. Actually, I have a tiny little leak over here. It is really, really small. But you can see that right there. That's a tiny little leak I have under there. So I'll have to deal with that a little later. But that shows you right there very well. A made up leak, which I can just close that back up and that's gone. But actually, I didn't even know I had that leak down there. And now, I found it. There you go. So I have like a little pinhole leak right there by the look of it. Tiny little pinhole that I will have to locate. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a very convenient and useful vehicle diagnostic and leak detection device. The Ansel S3000 smoke machine and air pump. I think this is a really great unit. It gives you a lot of control and adjustability over the testing that you're doing, and it works really fast. If you don't have time to waste when you're looking for a leak, this guy can really be your best friend. You saw how it started producing a lot of smoke in less than 30 seconds. It located very nicely a made-up leak that I created for you guys, and it even showed me a leak that I didn't even know that I had. Now I can go back and fix that leak that I never would have known about if I didn't have this Ansel smoke machine. You might have leaks that you don't know about either. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.